But what I'm about to show you is fairly simple on how to get your hair to fall down. What is up all of you awesome awesome people, it is The Munch Bull here and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make your dreads fall down. Now I know I sort of already made a video on this, it was how to make your dreads hang, but that was specifically like for people whose hair is like in the beginning stages. I'm talking about more of how, I I'm going to show y'all real quick how my hair is right now. You see how it stays up and even when I shake it, it, it still barely falls down. And this may be a quick tutorial, it's probably gonna be a pretty laid back video. But you see, you do all this stuff, like I keep finger combing a lot of the times, and see it's still just like flared out. And a lot of y'all in the comments, or some people comment say, why your dreads look so stiff? That's because of the new growth. You see I have a ton of new growth, and plus I crochet hit my dreads at the beginning stages. But they still are pretty flimsy. I mean, they, they shake, they move around. It's just the bottom, the roots are just so thick that it barely moves around because if i had a retwist they would be shaking a lot better but that's not really the look i'm going for so i'm, I'm trying to you know semi free form or for those who don't like when i call my hair semi free form then i'm not twisting my hair that's what i mean by it but i usually just shake it a lot like i shake it a lot and you have to close your eyes because hey you could like poke an eyeball out while doing that just kidding well not really kidding i mean you probably could but i shake my hair and it doesn't matter how much i shake my hair it still never really falls down. Cause I look at this, I, I want my hair to like flow back, you know, flow back something like this to where it stays back out of my face sometimes. But I just do it and it ends up just staying up like this and it looks weird. And of course I could fix that by like just doing a little stuff. But you see, it's thick, it's sticking up. But what I'm about to show you is fairly simple on how to get your hair to fall down. You can do this, see, and you actually see, you see, if I got a retwist, my hang time would be crazy. And I'm not even pushing down all the way. If I push down all the way, yeah, my hang time will be crazy if I actually got a retwist, but that's not what I'm doing. But it's really simple, and all you wanna do is simply put water in your hair. Yeah, I know how simple that sounds, but you know, a lot of people don't really figure that out. I know in the beginning stages, I didn't really figure that out. And how I got the idea for this video was yesterday, it was raining outside, and the rain was pouring down on my head. It was just a little bit of rain and my hair started drooping down on my face. I'm telling you, no matter if you have a lot of new growth, no matter if you have a retwist or whatever, which retwist, you won't really need your hair to fall down because you already got a retwist. But this mainly for people who like have new growth because that's usually probably the people who have the problem. But just doing the simple step, putting water in your hair, it will make your hair fall pretty low. So I'm just about to show you how I do it. Or I, this is really my first time doing it. I don't do it too much. You could take cold water or hot water, it doesn't really matter. Hot water will actually tend to loosen up your hair, so maybe it will hang lower, theoretically, but I don't really know, you know, I'm not a scientist with, you know. All right, so I was like trying the longest to try to find a spray bottle, but look what I did find in the process. Some black hair dye. Now, I'm kind of inter interested because I was debating on if I should dye my hair back black, and I think this would be a good way to try because this is, like, it just washes out. I don't want to like fry my hair up, so I don't want to put too many chemicals in my hair. But if you want me to do this, if you want me to, if you want me to try this out, if you want me to try my hair black, then make sure y'all leave that down in the comments. So if I don't have any spray bottles, just run your water, get a handful, rub it a little bit in your hands, and just take it all through your hair. And you don't want to soak your hair. That's one thing you don't want to do. And all this does is adds weight to your hair. And as you can see, it's already starting to drop down. And really after you have like two scoops, like I would say, like after you went under two times, boom, boom, then you, you should be good. Cause your hair will start to absorb the water and it will start to fall down more and more and more. It also falls down more throughout the day. That's why I noticed as well. Basically all the water does is adds weight to your hair so your hair can fall down better. And especially the roots. I, I will get the roots as well as best as you can because the roots is really where the hair isn't trying to fall down. Make sure you get all in your scalp. I mean, honestly, yeah, washing your hair can make your hair fall down as well. So that's just another thing. You can shake it a little bit. But a spray bottle, I think, does work better. So I'm going to try to find one again. 
Nice, I found a spray bottle. I'm just gonna fill it up with some warm water. Cause a spray bottle, it gets onto your hair better. And it's just easier to distribute the water across your head if you have a spray bottle. So I'm about to do that. I wanna put it at the best setting to the point where it sprays wide. So it's gonna spray pretty wide. Let me, let me get this, check that out. This just helps it get onto the hair better. Do my roots a little bit. Shake it. Now you're really seeing that my hair is drooping down. Like I said, it will go down further and further and further throughout the day. Just to avoid your hair like sticking up or anything, make sure that you don't really wear a hair tie that much. Or as soon as you wake up to take the hair tie out because that would really help. But you see, I'm getting some length, you know? Put like a before and after, and you see that my hair is hanging lower, way lower. But obviously, the best thing to do to let your hair hang is to get a retwist to wash your hair, obviously, and that's pretty much it. Or just wait until your hair gets long enough because maybe some of your hair isn't long enough to hang and you just have to basically just face that back. But it will get long in due time, so don't even worry about it. Don't saturate it because you know it doesn't take that much water to do, to make your hair hang. And all you need to do after you put the water in is finger comb it and it should look pretty good. And you see, it's hanging way lower. You see, it's touching my nose. And that's kind of annoying. And that's why that's why I didn't like yesterday, but I kind of liked it because it's like I got more, it seems like I have more length. And that's also another hack for your hair to seem like it's longer. But anyways, that's really all I have for this video. And my hair is all in my face. And it actually goes back better now. Yeah, see, it goes back better because sometimes my hair bitching all the way to my face. But anyways, I thank you so, so much for watching this video. Uh, sorry if this was a little bit of a shorter video, but it's all right. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this, please make sure to like it. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so y'all never miss out on another video from me in the future. And with that being said, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video.